a broad outline of vedanta explanations of shri shri sachidanandendra saraswati swami ji hole narsipura karnataka compiled by shri d b gangulli and published by adhyatma prakash karyalaya hole narsipura karnataka today we will be seeing the 42nd point already we have seen for up to 41 today 42nd point in this book om shri guru bhyo namaha hari om shri ganesha ya namaha <coughs> dr krishna murti shastri dambe punacha karnataka so a broad outline of vedanta 42nd point what benefit can be achieved from such brahma vidya the knowledge of brahman even those who are called brahma jnanis or knowers of brahman are also just like all others only live as samsari selon is it not this is the 19th doubt to say that the jnani or a realized soul or knower of atman who has intuitively known that brahman itself which is of the essential nature of eternally pure omniscient omniscient and liberated state is his own self also knows that he is a samsari a transmigratory soul who performs a karma action and enjoys his its fruit is a ridiculous statement to say that both a brahma jnani no also knows that he is a samsari means it is a ridiculous statement for the person who has the misconception that the body the senses etc are himself alone suffers from the onslaught of miseries and calamities one after the another like the desire that his body the senses etc should be healthy and comfortable the hatred towards things which are inconvenient or uncomfortable to him the fear that the body the senses etc may get destroyed or they may meet with some danger or harm the attachment that somehow or other those should be protected this is a fact known to all the samsaris in fact the group of these miseries or <coughs> calamities alone goes by the name samsara but for one who has known that the body the senses etc are not his self that they do not exist at all in reality and that his essential nature of pure being is eternal is pure is of the essential nature or pure consciousness is devoid of any bondage whatsoever if it is said that to such a jnani there exists samsara as described above can it be accepted therefore the disappearance of mitigation of all kinds of calamities is one benefit accruing from brahma vidya knowledge of brahman the ultimate reality <clears throat> to one who is a jnani a realized soul there does not exist anything whatsoever that is to be obtained for his own sake nor does there exist anything whatsoever that is to be discarded or given up by this he unlike others is not afraid of anything and remains peaceful this supreme peace is another benefit accruing from brahman vidya or brahma vidya this is the 42nd point next the 43rd point this brahma jnana knowledge of brahman is not attained by all people is it not if this alone is the real knowledge why does it a, it not appear so invariable to all people why are the people discussing about this topic this is the 20th doubt it is true that this knowledge does not accrue to all the people for this they they are not aspiring to attain it as a necessity alone is the cause giving up false pride practicing spiritual disciplines like 
shama that is control over the mind dhamma control over the senses uparati introverted mind titiksha tolerance irrespective of pleasure or pain shraddha one pointed dedication and samadhana equipoise or tranquility as stated in the vedantic texts acquiring the guidance or preceptors or gurus who are brahmanishthas those who are established in the ultimate reality of brahman if one discriminates about that instruction alone that instruction alone then surely the knowledge of brahman or atman is attained so these are called sadhana shat sampattis shamadama uparati titiksha shraddha samadhana shama means control of mind control over mind dama control over the senses uparati introverted mind titiksha tolerance irrespective of pleasure or pain shraddha one pointed dedication and samadhana equipoise or tranquility we can say also shraddha means a faith over shastra and guru vakya and uh, samadhana means the one pointed uh, dedication that also we can see so this is the 43rd point next 44th point just as by brahma jnana our empirical knowledge is reckoned to be wrong just as by brahma jnana our empirical knowledge is reckoned to be wrong why should it not be reckoned that by means of another knowledge stronger than brahma jnana self knowledge the later is also reckoned brahma jnana also reckoned to be wrong alone how can it be determined that this alone is the correct or proper knowledge this is the 21st doubt atman alone is the absolute reality this alone is brahma jnana be uh, because once the brahma jnana or self knowledge is attained there does not exist a second thing or entity at all which can destroy it for the doubt that there may be a second knowledge that can arise which will fall falsify brahma jnana there is no scope at all this alone that is brahma jnana is the final knowledge beyond this neither doubt nor perceptual cons- uh, knowledge pramana jnana arise <coughs> next 45th point all the protagonists of various schools of philosophy are showing by using various types of reasonings or strategies that their respective teachings or doctrines alone are proper they are exemplifying the scriptural st- statements it being so how can it be said that those philosophical teachings are not proper this is the last 20 second doubt many things which the meaning uh, many things which the remaining schools of philosophy propound are mere conceptions without the support of any reasoning and valid means people have merely to believe those philosophers alone but it is not possible for their teachings to be established to be within anybody's experience in this world in this world because those philosophers are saying that the emancipation emancipation or liberation or salvation mukti or moksha which they are propounding to be supreme benefit is one which will accrue in distant time and in a world beyond after people die even that aspect also is to be believed alone and not that it is possible to be experienced here and now it is true that some among the things that they say are likely to be within the ken of experience but they are likely to appear only if the experience of the waking state which is one part of everyone's totality of experience that is all the three states waking a dream and sleep three states is taken into the reckoning vedanta philosophy which propounds the essential nature of pure being of brahmatman is not like that vedanta philosophy teaches that here itself as soon as jnana or self knowledge is attained the materialization uh, 
साक्षात्कार और इंट्यूशिव एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द एसेंशियल नेचर ऑफ प्योर बीइंग कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ आत्मन और द सेल्फ एक्रियोस द सिद्धांत और फिलोसॉफिकल ट्रुथ विच इज ए मैटर दैट कैन बी एक्सपीरियंस नव ओनली विच दिस स्कूल ऑफ फिलोसॉफी हैज अंडरटेकन टू प्रोपाउंड कैन बी एक्सपीरियंसड इंट्यूस्ड इंट्यूटेड बाई ऑल taking into account all the experiences here like waking dream and deep uh, deep sleep and examining them one can recognize or intuit intuit the as to which that entity which is absolute and real is this is not opposed to any reasoning or stratagem or any philosophical text thus in the vedantic philosophy there is a greatness much more than in all other schools of philosophy this is the 45th point lastly the 46th point because this brahma vidya or knowledge of brahman is this a knowledge which has greater benefits than all other knowledges jignasus or aspirants seekers who are wise and desires of liberation look upon this alone with veneration by means of this knowledge if the essential nature of pure being of brahmatman is cognized or intuited then all doubts are dissolved the impediment of desires which is caused by misconceptions lurking on lurking in one's heart gives up its hold or sway whether to obtain anything whatsoever or whether to avoid anything whatsoever there do not exist any functions or actions whatsoever to be performed once again om tat sat so this finishes off a broad outline of vedanta the first book published in english by adhyatma prakash karyalaya holi narsipura we will see the second book from the next session onwards from tomorrow thank you hari rama